dolphin in captivity doesn't represent a dolphin in the wild any more than Mickey Mouse represents a real mouse. I'm Alexander Johnston. I'm once again outside the Japanese Embassy. <laughs> the noise is insane right now. The general public have been so supportive. What we're here to do today is raise a lot of awareness for the slaughter and captivity that goes on in Taiji, Japan. I want to show you that the Japanese Embassy have actually removed their flag for today because they obviously feel like they need to hide something and they don't want to be associated with what we're doing. So they're obviously a little bit embarrassed. Shame on Japan! 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 We're literally right outside the front doors of the Japanese embassy right now. Everybody's a little bit over emotional. Their emotions are getting the better of them with more police involved. But, um, as you can see, it's just insane. Shame on Japan! Shame on Japan! Shame on Japan! We catch up with Ollie all day, but it's been a bit of a crazy, crazy one today. But for those of you that don't, well, for those people that don't know, what did you recently do for Dolphin Project? Because I think it's incredible. Uh, well, I cycled 2,050 miles around Japan, from the south, all around the coastline, through the mountains. Uh, I was code monitor for a day and took aid to Fukushima, all to raise awareness about what goes on in Japan, for people who don't know, and also around the world. And do you think that you managed to get any messages through to the people of Japan, anyone that you met along the way? Definitely. Every single day. I mean, I, was, I stood out like a sore thumb riding my bike, bright jersey with Japanese writing on it saying J save Japan's dolphin. So uh, everyone I spoke to were really enthused, very kind to me because I was doing something they respected, seeing their country firsthand. Everyone I spoke to feels very sad about what goes on in Taiji. The trouble is they have a very difficult time trying to get their message across because they get squashed by the authorities, they get ostracized from their community. So it's very difficult for them to have a voice. So when you did make people aware, did you feel like you got a positive response from them and they were eager to learn more? And Well, definitely. That was another thing. I wanted people to see Japan isn't just Taiji. And uh, it really isn't. It's such a beautiful place. The people are amazing, so warm, so kind, and will do anything to help. So I think there is, uh, there is a lot of positivity out of that. I followed you all the way on Instagram and all social medias and you did an incredible job. I don't think I would be able to do anything like that. that you feel like the UK could be play an integral part in stopping this. Why do you think that? Well, just look around you. You have all of these activists, veterinarians here in the UK because of the activists. All the dolphins abusement parks closed because of them. And um, the anti-whaling movement back in the 70s was the strongest here in London. So you would never find a um, a protest like this in America, for example, because there's only one embassy, and that's in Washington, D.C. You can't get close to it like you can here. The police are very cooperative. In Miami, for example, the lady who put paint on the building, they would have thrown her to the ground and pushed her off. And so there, you know, there's a certain amount of sympathy here for the cause. And so yeah, I think London holds the key to stopping this dolphin slaughter in Japan. And for people watching this wondering what they can do, what should they do? Go to dolphinproject.net and, and take the yes. pledge. Let's do it. <laughs> take the pledge. Dolphinproject.net, take the pledge. the day now the end of the protest and I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that came to show support this has been one of the most inspiring 
and emotional protests that I've been to. Um, special thank you to Rick O'Barry for being here with us today. Your presence just raised everybody's spirits. Um, it's literally been insane is the only word I have for today. Um, please, if you want to do more, go to www.dolphinproject.net take action and take the pledge to not buy a ticket to whale or dolphin show it's as simple as that that is all you have to do to see this will contribute to this stopping so yeah i hope you like the video share subscribe thank you